Okay, so this is NV4, 14 inch, model 4-1117NR. And I made this one into a perfect MacBook Air running Mojave, the latest 10.14.6. So I replaced the cache PB4E 480 gig as the uh, hard drive. Original hard drive will be the second one. And you got to replace the Wi-Fi module with the uh, Asus AW CE-123H. This is the um, Broadcom Combo BT 4.0 to make it native. Now it become the perfect MacBook Air. Dual boot Windows and using Clover for 920 default to the SSD is really fast okay right now it's running Mojave 1014.6 it's working audio is working so the audio on this one 92 HD 91 BXX so we use the layout ID 13 not 12 and it works Bluetooth handoff support which means that I can send picture from my iPhone to this one so airdrop I'm gonna share a picture from my iPhone there you go. Accept. Okay, open. Nice. Camera, Ethernet is working. So this one have real tech, 8168. Memory, I added one more 4 gig. So now it's 8 gig. Graphic. This one's only have 1366 by 768 resolution, but full acceleration, graphic 4000. Storage, I use the original one that have one terabyte, and I use the SSD to make it faster. So they still use USB hub 2.0 with Broadcom and True Vision. So Wi-Fi, 5 gig Bluetooth sound is working that's why you can hear from me now and HDMI works and also this is the um, battery so when it's in the um, HDMI mode the sound will switch to the uh, TV and when we unplug it iMessage and FaceTime works. Message and FaceTime. iMovies, iTunes, GarageBand. This one is absolutely vanilla. Actual vanilla. to my website or look at my video don't use any other distro the important thing on this one in order to use the Mojave the drivers will have some problem unless you have the Apto memory fix and Apto fix 2 if not, you're going to have that memory allocation problem or something like that. When you go to the CAX, go to Other. These are the one I put in there. And all of them are the new version. So I use Apple, the Apple ALC to patch this one, the sound and USB and jack all to get all the, the USB port. 
Other than that, nothing. You got the patch for the battery, the SDT and SSDT, but we don't have to do much with this one because it's an older model. So the ACPI, very simple. The important thing is that the auto inject has to be different from the one that you patch on the DSDT. So the DSDT, you have to patch a layout ID. So I use 13, which is 0D. And the graphics, all you need to do is to use the IG platform ID 0 times 0, 0166 You don't even need to use a fake ID, okay? Just forget the fake ID. SM BIOS is important. If you, this is the uh, U, so you use MacBook Air. If it's an M, you use the uh, MacBook Pro. So people who use MacBook Pro uh, 9.2, it also work well too. CPU, so I need the HCI port injector. And if you want the ACBI battery to show up here, this is the one. And ACPI backlight, if you want to use this, okay. And Voodoo, I use the newest version, 1.92, which is for most of the trackpad. All right. Okay. And the only thing that these will work is if the USB is working. Remember that. So the USB has to work before everything else to work. Now, if you install into the EFI folder of your hard drive, go to the Microsoft Dual Boot, and you got to rename the boot manager for window, rename that one to dash ORIG, then it will boot from the Clover instead of the window. So every time the window try to fix it, they will generate the new boot mgfw.efi. What you have to do is you have to come back in and rename it again, okay? Or rename them to something else. So the original one is still there. It's still boot from Clover. To simplify things, people put their kecks into library extension, all right? I don't. So it's up to anybody that they want to do. I just use kecks utility and drag all of the kecks in here and it will load to system library extension or they call it SLE for short so whatever I need I load everything in here and then I run sudo touch system library extension and sudo cat cache minus u forward slash that's the root to create a new cat cache for the whole system again for Broadcom, for the AL, Apple ALC, you can put it in the other CACs or I install it inside here, Apple ALC. That is for patching the audio. And I need the Broadcom module, which if you don't replace it, don't bother to Hackintosh, okay? So Broadcom firmware, 
and Broadcom Patch Ramp 2. This one is from Rehab Man. You need the Kodak Commander for the sound to wake up to work. So you also need fake PCIID Broadcom Wi-Fi, the Intel HD graphics, and fake PCIID. And I use the latest one, 1.3.15, I believe. Fix SMC, I installed into the SLE. Lilu. So this one, since it works, I use 1.36. Right now it's 1.38, I believe, or 1.39. And the whatever green cacks. Is 1.29 I think now it's 1.3 something but if it works they'll fix it and this one is a 1.92 okay if you get all of these correctly oh the real tech if you have the Ethernet from real tech 81 no yeah 8168 then you use this one, it will work. I use 1.23, so it still works. It's from Rehab Man also. If you do exactly like this, your system will run. No need distress. This is true vanilla. The port connected, we're gonna close the lid to see if it's gonna go to sleep and how long it's gonna take to go to sleep. It's sleeping now. Let's open it up. After wake, you can see they disconnected when they sleep, but when they woke up, they start to reconnect everything. The Seagate, the passport, my uh, test, USB hard drive. So this is a good system, especially with USB.